everybody. Call your Swecker in beautiful Birmingham, Alabama. It's a gorgeous spring day uh, here in Birmingham. And wanted to chat with you real quickly about offers and when you're a home buyer in all price points in a very, what is right now, a very busy market, a very tough market in the respect that there's very little inventory and a lot of buyers out there. And, you know, a lot of my practice, I deal with a lot of home sellers and we get a lot of multiple offer situations this time of year. And one of the things I've noticed is that a lot of folks are still in this mentality that the buyer can come in low and will eventually get to a middle ground price. And what's happening many times when that buyer comes in and doesn't bring a lot of the, uh, I'm not saying bring your best, but bringing a lot of the terms that will they know will eventually be in the contract, uh, they're getting trumped by another offer that swoops in and gets it right and actually prices their offer uh, to what, well, the market and their agents know will be probably an acceptable range or acceptable offer for a seller because sellers are gaining a little bit more control in this market, especially when we have low inventories. And if your house is good, your price right, you will sell. That being said, it's a lot of first time home buyers. And quite frankly, you know, I am a lawyer. So when I say this, a lot of lawyers, engineers, accountants, they overanalyze in this market and, and try to take you know, uh, nine steps to get to a final contract. And if the house is a really good one, they better go ahead and get to that second step as fast as they can, because if they don't, there's going to be another offer come in. And uh, also think about all the terms of that offer. Price, concessions, are you asking for closing costs or are you not? Are you asking for a home warranty, termite, any repairs up front that you that uh, before the inspection, all those type of things that you may be asking for all add up to a cost for the seller. The seller's gonna evaluate it, and there's a good chance in this market, if you like the house, another person really likes the house as well and will come in and really uh, get the house out from under you. And remember, a, a seller's under no duty to let you even know at least in the state of Alabama, that there's a multiple offer situation. So the seller could actually start negotiating with you, negotiating at the same time with someone else, and you know what happens? He accepts that other offer because you played around a little bit too long. If you have any questions about this or anything else, give me a call, 249-3535, or visit me at callyourswecker.com and also at our sales website, megaagents.com. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.